joining us right now. Remember the first part of the show, we were talking to Kenya's strongest man officials. We had James Buga, who is the founder of Kenya's Strongest Man, and Qatari's uh, strongest man for three years in a row, and Kenya's strongest man for two years in a row. That is Steve Wamalo and Chris Okech. We were talking to them about what to expect from this year's uh, edition, and right now we want to get into the World Cup, the 21st edition of the most watched football tournament in the world. Remember in 2014, one billion people watched the World Cup. This year, it is estimated that the people that will be watching the World Cup will add up to 3.6 billion people. So, uh, yesterday we had Nigeria lose in uh, the World Cup. The day before that we had Egypt and Morocco lose. So we are asking you on our Twitter poll this afternoon, which African country do you think holds the hopes of a continent when you talk about the FIFA World Cup? Which African team do you think carries the hope of the continent at the FIFA World Cup 2018 and why? Of course, we will be sampling uh, some of your views at the end of the show and we are asking you which African team do you think carries the hope of the continent at the FIFA World Cup 2018 and why? Before we get into, yes, into yesterday's results, we like to cross over to Kilifi where Abula Hamed is on standby. He's a fan of Brazil. Brazil will be playing later on this evening. And Abula Hamed, who is on standby in Kilifi. Abula, uh, I want to begin with you. What is the mood, you know, when you talk about the World Cup in Kilifi? What are the expectations of football fans in the county? Thank you very much, uh, Robinson Okenye, in uh, studio. As you said, you are coming to you live from uh, uh, Kilifi County. And uh, I am at uh, Karisa Maitha Stadium in Kilifi County. Uh, this is where the likes of Omar Mbongi, who played for the national team Arambe Stars, Esia Kida, who became the first woman to score a goal for Kenya in the Africa Women's Cup of Nations, came from. And also Abula Ahmed, I came from this place. Karisa Maitha Stadium, where we are having the Mohamed Magogo Sports Foundation tournament, uh, combining football, skating, and also volleyball tournament. And here we have uh, the trophies of uh, the teams that are going to win the tournament. Uh, remember, it started a few years ago with the aim of developing sports talent in this area and uh, right now I'm joined uh, by uh, who else none other than Mohamed Magogo I know you know it's uh, the name is uh, sounds familiar Mohamed Magogo uh, represented Kenya played for Arambe Stars also played for some of the best uh, uh, sports uh, of the best clubs in coast and also in uh, Kenya welcome sir to KTS Coline we are live from Kilifi County uh, Karibu, KTN, na tuweleze kuhusiana na Muhammad Magogo Foundation. Kitu gani ambacho kile kufanya kuanza ukaanza kuanzisha eh, miradi kama huu? Eh, kwa vile nimeendelea nime, nime kwa michezo, na nashukuru sana mungu wa kune, kunipa bahati ya kunilea kwa michezo. Nikaona na lizima mimi nirudishe fadhila as a community. Nije kurudi tena pali lipoanza, ni wasaidie wa vijana ambao wa kuapwa, wanacheza, na kuwasaidia kwa mambo mengi na sana kwa upande wa drugs na tarajia kwa kuwasaidia drugs maana tukiangalia upande wa drugs ni kitu ambacho kinaharibu watoto wengi sana na uki, ukiangalia kihisabu watoto wanaharibika kwa dakika au, ma, au nusu saa kwa sababu zamani ilikuwa kwa unasoma uki, ukitoka saa saba unarudi nyumbani saa nane unarudi nyumbani <coughs> una, 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 saa nane unarudi nyumbani unakwenda shule tena lakini siku hizi inakuwa kwamba ukiingia shule kuanzia asubuhi unatoka saa kumi. sasa sijui sijui kitu gani kinafanya watu waona drugs au wapatikana wa, wa drugs ikiwa wazee wanaweza kushirikiana na vijana na wana michezo watoto wakitoka kuanzia saa sa moja asubuhi wakiingia shule wanatoka saa kumi. saa kumi wazazi wanaongoja pale wanawachukua wanapeleka uwanja wa mpira au uwanja wa michezo kama nilivyoanza mimi hapo nimeka michezo kila ina kuna volleyball kuna football kuna basketball kuna skating kuna wash, uh, swimming kuna boxing kuna vitu michezo mingi ambayo nimejaribu nime, nime kuyafanya hapo ili jioni kila mtoto awe yuko busy kwa michezo na ikiwa ikiwa kwa tu uh, ameingia kutoka saa kumi, kutoka kwake kwenye michezo kwenye saa kumi na mbili, atakuwa ameshachoka anakuwa moja kwa moja nyumbani kulala inakuwa anakuwa hana hana tamaa au hana uwezo kufikiria kufata drugs au kila kitu hiyo ndio jina langu 
umechezea timu ya taifa Arambe Stars na wapo watu kutoka Kilifi ambao hivi sasa wanachezea timu ya taifa nimemzungumzia Esia Kida nimemzungumzia Omar Mbongi ni sehemu ambayo ina vipaji na endapo watu watajitolea ili kuweza kusaidia kuza vipaji hivi basi uenda Kilifi kajulikana kama sehemu zingine za Kenya hiyo ni kitu ambacho <coughs> ambacho nasikitika sana kwamba kwamba serikali yetu mpaka sasa eh, government yetu mpaka mpaka, mpaka dakika hii hawajashughulikia bara ya sports sasa ukia, ukiangalia hapa u, viwanja hivi viko viko wazi hakuna michezo yote inaendelea mpaka mtu ajitolee ambapo mimi naona kama e, county nyingine zimetengeza viwanja vya michezo viwanja vya mpira vinaendeleza ma watoto lakini hapa watoto wenyewe unaona wanacheza wanajifuata wana, wana wenyewe kuja kucheza hapa na wanacheza wanaumia uwanja manyasi hakuna yani uwanja uridhishi ukiangalia kwa nchi nyingine wanaendelea sana kimchezo hasa mzee Afrika sio wote wa Uingereza au nje ya ngambo au hapa Afrika tumeshindwa sana sana kwa kwa talent ya ya ya, ya, ya wachezaji kwa sababu ni kwamba hatuna hatuna uh, wasaidizi wa kusaidia michezo na kama hivi sasa county yetu ime, ime, imekaa tu hata sielewi sielewi manake sielewi kimichezo ni vipi manake michezo ina maana ni fatilizwe michezo na hapa sijaona kufatilizwa kila kila mwaka nikija ni naona ni vile vile hakuna kitu ambacho kina kinazidi kutoka niondoke asante sana ni Bwana Mohamed Magogo ambaye ni mchezaji wa zamani wa Kandanda na miongoni mwa watu ambao wanasaidia eh, kukuza talanta katika sehemu hii uh, well Robinson he is calling on the government as uh, they do some of the sports stakeholders from this area uh, to find a way of uh, improving the sports infrastructure in Kilifi County back to Robinson in studio well uh, thanks a lot uh, Bula Ahmed right there in Kilifi County talking about the state